And have you been with us? That we're talking about the prophet and the prostitute. And it's God showing us how much he loves us. It's God showing us his covenant relationship to us, that it is unconditional, that God's love doesn't change. It's unconditional. He loves us with an unfailing love. And we're up to verse 2. It says, chapter 3, verse 2, So I bought her for myself for 15 shekels of silver in one and one half homers of barley. So Gomer, the prostitute, uh, I don't know that we would call it a pimp today, but she was basically a slave. You know, she had sold herself through her actions. That's what happens uh, when we sin against the Lord. We begin to put ourselves in bondage to, to, to the enemy. And Satan is a, one of the things we like to say here is the key to life is finding the right master. Satan is the wrong master, man. He is not good. He will put us in bondage. You know, there's so much talk about slavery today, but we're missing that real slavery is that to sin. People are enslaved by their sins. They are, they are taken by their sins. And here the Bible says, Hosea bought Gomer out from slavery. Verse 3, and I said to her, you shall stay with me many days. You shall not play the harlot no more. Go in to be a prostitute any longer. No more. You shall not play the harlot, nor shall you have a man. So too will I be towards you. You know, I love this because there is restoration, and there's a big word. It's called redemption. You know, redemption for you and I, as the Bible says we have been redeemed, is that God bought us from the slave market. You and I were slaves of sin, and the Lord redeemed us. He purchased us, not just to come and be his slave, but he, he, he bought us. He paid for us with the price, his very blood, his own son died on the cross for our sins. And then what he did after he went to the cross was, and after paying the price and redeeming us from the slavery of sin, he then set us free. He set us free. And we now have this choice to make. Are we going to serve him? We're going to serve the enemy. We're going to live for him or are we going to live for the world? Are we going to live our lives for the glory of God or are we going to live to try and gratify our flesh? And these, is, these are the real questions we have to ask as we follow the Lord. Verse 4, it says, For the children of Israel shall abide many days without king or prince, without sacrifice or sacred pillar, without ephod or teraphim. Verse 5, Afterward, the children of Israel shall return. This is what the Lord wants. You know, the Romans 2 verse 4, it says, Or do you not know that's the goodness of God, the kindness of God that leads us to repentance? You know, God constantly pursuing you and I softens our heart and causes us to return to the Lord. And then you see that next verse, in, the next word in verse 5, And seek the Lord their God and David their king. They shall fear the Lord in his goodness in the latter days. And that's the days we're in today. For Specifically for the Jewish people, that is the seven-year tribulation. There's going to be a great ingathering of Jews during the seven-year tribulation to, to receive Yeshua as Messiah. And it's exciting. It's exciting. But for you and I, how does this apply to us now? Listen, God is like Hosea. We are like Gomer the prostitute. We've sold ourselves into sin to the point that we're now in bondage. But the Lord, he comes in, he delivers us from our sin. He redeems us, buys us back, sets us free. And there's two things we need to do in response. You need to do it today. You need to return to the Lord. You need to do the things you once did. Read your Bible, pray, sit with the Lord. Go to church, fellowship. You need to do that. Then you need to seek the Lord. You need to seek him, as it says here. Seek after him. You remember playing hide and go seek as a kid? You would seek out the one hiding. The Lord, he's not hiding from us, but because God is spirit, as Jesus said to the woman at the well, he says, God is spirit. And those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. And you and I need to do the same. We need to worship him today in spirit. And we need to worship him in truth. And God is seeking those. He's seeking us, and he wants us to seek him. Seek the Lord today. You'll be blessed because of it. Realize, listen, he's redeemed you. You are redeemed. He's bought you from the slave market. 
The key to life is finding the right master, and you found that right master today, so now live for him. And Father, I do pray, bless your people. Remind them all throughout the day that they have been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. And now may they return to you even today and seek your face in Jesus' name. Amen.